Oh, hello there. Welcome to story time. Today, we're reading That Pesky Rat by Lauren Child. This is me. I'm the one with the pointy nose and beady eyes. The cutesy one in the middle. I live in dustbin number three, Grubby Alley. Every now and again I come back to find someone has emptied all my belongings into a big van and driven off with them. It's very upsetting. I'm a brown rat. A street rat. But people call me that pesky rat. I don't know why. They say I smell, but that's not my fault, it's the dirt. Sometimes, when I'm tucked into my crisp packet, I look up at all the cosy windows and wonder what it would be like to live with creature comforts, to belong to somebody, to be an actual pet. Most of all, I would like to have a name, instead of just that pesky rat. My friend Pierre, who is a chinchilla, is looked after by a rich lady called Mam Fifi. He has a very glamorous life. He lives in the lap of luxury. I say, I would quite like to live in a fashionable apartment and be fed chocolates while I sit on a feather cushion. Pierre says, It's not all cushions and chocolates. Madame Fifi has us shampooed at the pet parlour once a week. I hate having baths. I think I'm allergic to soap. Then there's this Siamese cat called Oscar. He lives with Mr. Washington, a busy businessman. Mr. Washington is always at work, so he doesn't have time to wash fur or be strict. If I lived there, I could do whatever I liked. Oscar says, doing whatever you want can get tiring after a while. I sometimes get a bit bored watching the same old shows on TV. You even have to get my own supper. I'm quite good in the kitchen. But I hate to be bored. A lop-eared rabbit I know called Nibbles works in a circus with Mr. Hoopla. It must be so exciting. Never a dull moment. Swinging on the trapeze one minute, tiptoeing on the high wire the next. Nibbles says, It is fun hopping through hoops in a tutu, but sometimes I could do with taking off the clown's nose and putting my feet up. Maybe it's all a bit nerve-wracking for me. I think I'd quite like one of those owners who do lots of sitting about, like Miss Sinclair. Her Scotty dog, Andrew, is always sitting by the fire, having supper on a tray, and they spend the evenings doing puzzles together. Andrew says, On the whole, I feel very well looked after, and Miss Sinclair is very good company, but it's rather embarrassing when we have to go out shopping. I don't think clothes would suit me but I would do anything to be somebody's pet. So, in the morning, I go to the pet shop and ask Mrs Trill if she has an owner who might want me. She says, There isn't much call for brown rats, and I'm afraid you aren't very popular with the public. I say, I don't see why not. I'm very good company, always popping up when you least expect me to, and I am happy to eat anything even if it's been slightly nibbled. Mrs Trill says, Well, you could always make a notice and put it in the window. You never know. So I write, Brown rat, looking for kindly owner, with an interest in cheese. Obbies include nibbling and chewing. Would like a collar with my name on. Would like a name. Would prefer no baths. Will wear a jumper if pushed. Yours keenly, brown rat, brackets, that pesky rat. P.S. Sorry about the bad poor writing. Then I wait, and I wait, and I wait. Until, on Tuesday, old Mr Fortescue is passing, and he stops to look at my nose. He has to really squint because he has such bad eyesight. Then he looks at me and says, My, haven't you got a pointy nose? And goodness me, what a long tail and such unusual beady eyes. I'll, I'll take him. I can't believe my luck. Nor can Mrs Trill. 
She says, are you sure? And Mr. Fortescue says, oh yes, I've been looking for a brown cat as nice as this one for ages. Mrs. Trill looks at me. And I look at Mrs. Trill. And we both look at my nose. But neither of us says a word. I just love being a pet. And I am trying to be really helpful. I pick out the best cheeses by using my excellent sniffing nose. I clean the kitchen by nibbling up the crumbs. I help Mr. Fortescue cross the road by scaring the traffic. And I'm always there when he comes home. So here I am. Finally, a pet with a name. So what if I have to wear a little jumper? Mr. Fortescue says, Well, Tiddles, who's a pretty kitty cat? And I squeak, I am. The end. Well, thank you so much for listening. Hope you're keeping well. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.